Good morning everyone, this is Francis. It's Tuesday, July 26th, 2011. This is the image of uh, from Google Sky showing three days of Comet Elenin's progression. June 24th, June 25th, and June 26th. I plotted these uh, coordinates from the actual uh, bar A and declination given on the images that I took for those three nights. Notice these three alignment stars and these three alignment stars here. Okay, 24, 25, 26. Okay, these are now the actual images this one was taken on 24. This one was taken on 25. And this one was taken on 26. Okay. Here are the three stars that were in the Google Sky image. And there's three more down here, but they're off screen. But these are the three, oh, three I pointed out first. So that would put uh, 24. 25 and 26. This is 24. I believe that little speck is common element right there because that's where it should be. Twenty-five. Common element ends right here. So we went from here to here, and we're going to here, and 26, 26 it's right here. So we went from here to here to here, 24, 25, 26, 24, none of these images have a great picture of Elenin, though each one has a spot which appears to have an object in it that's not there in any other one. So there's the object right there. We'll go to 25, and it's gone. No object here. 24, object right here. 25, object not here. Okay, 25, the object is here, actually here. 24. Nothing here. 25. Faint fuzzy here. 24. Nothing there. So we go 25. Here. 26. Here. Now I'm doing these in grayscale and I know that it's hard for you to see. So we're going to see, um, we'll go a reverse. I'm going to darken it up. That's 26. Here's Common Element over here. This collection of dark area. Five. I'm going to darken it up to about the same color as the other one. And then we'll come to this last one and we'll color it in. Darken it up. Okay, twenty four. Here's comment line right here. Twenty-four. Okay, I have to make sure. 
sure this is very I have to make sure every time I look through this I gotta find what I can see being quiet right now because I just want to, I want to be able to see, that's it right there, that's 24, that's where it should be, which is off to the northwest of these two stars right here, northwest two stars, 24, Let's get to 25. 25. We are looking in this general area over here. 25. See, okay, here's the general area. Two star, here's a star. Two stars. We're using these to find what's there, what's not there. Okay. You're seeing it as I'm seeing it. These three days I don't think are going to offer us a lot of um, great insight. We're going to try to get as much out of them as possible but I don't know how much insight we're going to get and see this is 626 here and we're over here with the comment over here so it should have gone, let's get back over here. What I'm not getting out of these three images is a lot of information. I was able to track the comet with coordinates. At least that way we can know that we are in the right space at the right time. There's 24. See, this is the comet over here. Very dim. The 
is 626, the comet is here. And 625. know with these three images is that none of them really captured the comet well. They give me the coordinates that it is traveling but it does not show up well in this image. I, these three images, these three nights, 24, 25, and 26 of June, we're going to keep moving forward through, this, through all the images to find the images we need to uh, get it back in view. Um, these images have partners that are in a file that I can uh, make composites of, of what I have and, and see if that will improve them, but I'm going to move on to go uh, into July's images. So right now, these are three days, 24, 25, 26, with the closest of attention, I believe I've located the comet in these images, I've tracked the coordinates in Google Sky, and we're, we're going to move ahead. These three images really don't offer us any insight to the comet. So. I'm going to keep going. We'll put up more videos soon. Have a good day.